building an application in Microsoft Azure does not mean spinning isolated resources or the services. Any Azure resource from as basic as virtual machine to the more advanced like IoT Hub, each resource needs to communicate with other resources in order to build any real business application and no prices for guessing none of this communication is possible without building a stable network. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. As I just mentioned, there can be no application or solution in the cloud without a virtual network. Just to set the perspective so that you understand the importance of network and even provisioning a single virtual machine would still create a virtual network and you can choose to create it explicitly. Otherwise, Azure will create an implicit virtual network. Why this happens, what are virtual network, importance of virtual networks and why do you need virtual networks and what are virtual subnets, all these questions and much more coming up in this video. So let's start by understanding what Microsoft has to say on virtual network. But before that, please note that this is the start of our section 2.2.5 describe virtual networking, including the purpose of Azure virtual networks, Azure virtual subnets, peering, Azure DNS, VPN gateway and express route. So let's first understand what is Azure virtual network. So let's understand what is Azure Virtual Network on this Microsoft documentation. It says that Azure Virtual Network, also popularly known as VNet, is the fundamental building block of your private network in Azure. VNet enables many types of Azure resources such as Azure Virtual Machines to securely communicate with each other, the internet and on-premises networks. VNet is similar to a traditional network that you would operate in your own data center but brings with it additional benefits of Azure infrastructure such as scale, availability and isolation. Now let's try to break down and understand virtual network in our own words. First, let's define network. Simply put, a network consists of two or more computers or any other services that are linked in order to communicate and share resources. So a network is nothing but the communication channel between two resources. And now let's jump on to the virtual part. Well, it's called virtual because unlike your on-premises network, in virtual networks, we do not have any physical wires involved in connecting of any resources. Everything happens virtually and that's why it's called virtual. And friends, before I move ahead, I would like to add that for all the topics that we will cover today, for example, Azure Virtual Machines, Azure Virtual Network, Azure Gateway, VPNs, for all these topics, we have already covered a lot of real exam questions in our AZ900 Q&A series 2023. So you can learn all the concepts here in this series and test your understanding against the real exam questions in that Q&A series. The link to the Q&A series is right there in the description box and in the pinned comment. So now let's say that you have two virtual machines. Now virtual machines are just like your physical machines like your laptop but they exist in Azure Cloud. Similarly, Azure virtual networks are a representation of physical network infrastructure but it is available in Azure Cloud. And as we read on the Microsoft documentation, Azure Virtual Network is the fundamental building block for the communication between your Azure resources such as virtual machines to securely communicate with each other over the internet. Now let's quickly talk about the capabilities that Azure Virtual Network provides you. So this is the Microsoft documentation. Here Microsoft says that virtual network provides you with following capabilities. It gives you the capability of isolation and segmentation internet communication, communication between Azure resources, communicate with on-premises resources, route network traffic, filter network traffic and connect with virtual networks. I will give you more details on all of these in the coming section of this video. So until now we understood what are virtual networks and what are the capabilities provided by them. I also mentioned very briefly why we need them but let me dig more on this why part. So let's understand why do we need virtual networks. To start with Azure virtual network is a secure way for your Azure resources to communicate with each other the internet and on-premises networks. And secondly my friends Azure virtual network enables communication between Azure resources 
filtering and routing network traffic and integration with Azure services. The key scenarios achievable with virtual network include communication with the internet and the on-premises resources. So let's understand how Azure virtual network helps us communicate with the internet. So by default, my friends, all the resources within a virtual network or VNet can communicate with the internet in an outbound direction and you can communicate inbound to a resource by assigning a public IP address or public load balancer. And now let's understand how does Azure Virtual Networks helps us communicate between Azure resources. And the first way to establish communication between Azure resources well, of course, it is through a virtual network and you can deploy virtual machines and several other types of Azure resources to a virtual network such as Azure App Services Environments, the Azure Kubernetes Services and the Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets. And the second way to communicate between Azure resources is through a virtual network service endpoint. So basically, you can extend your virtual network private address space and the identity of your virtual network to Azure service resources such as Azure storage accounts and Azure SQL database over a direct connection. Now the third option is VNet pairing. So you can connect virtual networks to each other by enabling resources in either virtual network to communicate with each other using virtual network pairing. And the virtual networks you connect can be either in same or different Azure regions. So with all those three methods, you can use Azure virtual networks to communicate between your Azure resources. And now let's understand one more important aspect of Azure virtual network and that is communication with your on-premises resources. And the first option to do that is point to site virtual private network or also known as VPN. So this is established between a virtual network and a single computer in your network. So each computer that wants to establish connectivity with a virtual network must configure its connection. And the second popular way to communicate with your on-premises resources is site to site VPN. And this is established between your on-premises VPN device and an Azure VPN gateway that is deployed in a virtual network. And friends, trust me, the concepts that we covered in the previous slides and the concepts coming up in the upcoming slides, all these concepts are really very important from the AZ900 perspective. And I have covered tons of questions on all these concepts in the AZ900 Q&A series, a must watch for everyone who is preparing for AZ900 exam. Links I mentioned is already there in the description box and in the pinned comment. And now comes the third popular way to communicate with on-premises resources and that is none other than the express route. And this is established between your network and the Azure through an express route partner. And this connection is private, traffic does not go over the internet. So this is how Azure Virtual Network helps you communicate with your on-premises resources. And now let's understand how Azure Virtual Network helps you filter out the network traffic. And in this scenario, first we have network security groups, multiple inbound and outbound security rules can be included in network security groups and the application security groups. These rules allow you to filter out traffic to and from resources based on the source and the destination IP address, ports and protocol. And undoubtedly, you will surely get some questions from network security groups in the AZ900 exam. And next on the list, we have network virtual appliances. A network virtual appliance is a VM that performs a network function such as firewall, WAN optimization or other network functions. And lastly, let's understand how virtual network helps us to route network traffic. And here, first of all, we have route tables and you can create custom route tables with routes that control where the network traffic is routed to for each subnet. And along with this, we also have border gateway protocol routes. And this one helps you connect your virtual machines to your on-premises network using an Azure VPN gateway or express route connection. And you can also propagate your on-premises BGP routes to your virtual networks. And now let's understand what are Azure virtual subnets.
To start with, just understand subnets as the smaller parts of your Azure virtual network. Now let's look at the definition. It says subnet enables you to segment the virtual network into one or more subnetworks and allocate a portion of your virtual network address space to each subnet. And you can then deploy Azure resources in specific subnets. So why do we need subnets? Well, as I just mentioned, you always want to break down your Azure virtual network into smaller sections and that are called subnets. And friends, subnets provide you with two main purposes. The first one is that they allow the customers to manage their IP address allocation more efficiently. And secondly, they enable grouping of related resources together so that the filters, the security rules can be applied across multiple resources within the same subnet. So as a customer, you have the freedom of how you manage subnets and the virtual networks. For example, you can group all the resources hosting your web application and only allow web traffic to that particular Particular subnet. Now friends, there could be lot of details on Azure Virtual Network and Azure Subnet, but I have given you just enough knowledge to get started with Azure Subnets and Azure Virtual Network and also you can test your knowledge against all the questions that appear in AZ900 exam with this Q&A series. So I would suggest you to get a grip, get your head around on all these fundamental concepts on Virtual Network, Virtual Subnets and then only deep dive. So let's summarize what we learned today. Firstly, we talked about Azure Virtual Network, which is a logical representation of the network in the cloud. And then we talked about Azure subnets that are purpose to allow customers for isolation and segmentation to enable communication, filtering and routing between Azure and on-premises resources. And in the next episode, we are going to talk about pairing Azure DNS, VPN Gateway and Express Route. I hope you like the video. So I request you to please press that like button and help me grow. Subscribe to the channel and share these videos and spread these free learning videos to all of your friends. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching. If this video has added any value in your learning, a like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning. Your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and I look forward for them. We will meet again in our next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.